Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome dear students to another tutorial on Adobe Animate CC 2020. In this tutorial we are going to demonstrate how to add interactivity to our Animate document. First of all, adding interactivity to Animate can be accomplished by either using ActionScript 3 or JavaScript. Which one to use depends basically on the document type you are working in. If you are working on a document type which is Air for Desktop, iOS, or Android, then you are going to use ActionScript 3 to achieve your interactivity. If you are working on an HTML5 document, WebGL, VR, VR360, these kind of applications, usually you are going to use JavaScript to apply interactivity. Anyway, JavaScript and ActionScript 3 are very similar and they are both based on the standard ECMA which is European Computer Manufacturer Association so they are very similar languages however they are different in usage and in their usage and syntax so in this example in this tutorial we are gonna demonstrate how to use how, how to add interactivity using uh, JavaScript okay so uh, first of all I already have this document which is very simple document with buttons that I'm going to use to you to apply interactivity if you double click the button you're going to see that I have up state over state down state just to simulate this and in my timeline I have a start middle and end and when you click any of these keyframes you're going to go to the property and notice that I give it a name which is basically a label so we're going to have this label is start and this label is middle and this is an end okay there is a big difference, or um, let's not say a big, an essential difference between JavaScript and ActionScript. Basically, when you use JavaScript to add interactivity, uh, frame counts are not going to start from 1 as usual, they are going to start from 0. Although, uh, oh, sorry, uh, with ActionScript, they are going to start from 1. So, it's always in either cases, in both cases, it's highly recommended that you don't use frame numbers to add interactivity and basically use frame labels because frame labels when you add or delete frames they are not going to change you don't need to change your code but your code but with frame numbers you have to change the code now let's jump to how to add interactivity basically first of all you should have a symbol movie clip or button graphics does not support interactivity and this symbol should has a, an instance name and instance name follows the regular identifier variable names that you should start with a a character, a letter, or an underscore, followed by a number, letter, or underscore, anything except special cases, special characters, sorry, and white spaces, like space, tabs, plus, minus, asterisk, percentage, and so on. Okay, so I have this button here, which is called btn underscore start, and this is called btn underscore main, and to add interactivity, usually you should add a new layer, it's not a must, but it's highly recommended that you create, you add a new layer dedicated for your interactivity. You can you can use more than one layer, of course, and you put it on the top. You make it the topmost layer. Okay, again, it's not a must, but it's highly recommended and it will avoid you a lot of problems that we might cover in other tutorials. So to go to the to write interactivity, we need to gonna press F9 again. It's already there, so I'm gonna just ex expand it and then I'm gonna write this dot stop okay uh, sorry you always have to use this this stands for this stage okay you can write the stage name if you want but this is how it works with actions with JavaScript basically you can if you want if you don't want to type as you will see in a minute you can use the action the wizard okay so let me try it I'm gonna test and you see now it is stopping at the first frame of course it's gonna stop at the first frame because you wrote the code at the beginning okay just don't worry about these warnings right now so this is where it happens to be inserted so now I will add a, a, a script when you click this the start will move to the to the middle so I'm gonna go to actions again I'm going to stick to the first frame and this time I'm not going to type my, the code myself I will use the wizard so you click the wizard you're going to see here this is going to be your action and from here you can select 
which one to which what what you have you want to do so I want to go and stop at a certain frame so I want to go to frame number and play no I go to frame number and stop so I'm gonna select this are you dedicating this timeline you see I don't have any other timelines listed here so I have only this timeline so you see here it is 50 I'm not gonna make I'm not gonna keep it 50 I'm gonna change it so I'm gonna write not capital it is a small letter uh, it is very important to remember that action script JavaScript is very similar to C++ and similar languages they are case sensitive okay so this is the the frame label better than the frame number and then we click next it's gonna ask us select the triggering event when this code is gonna be triggered you're gonna say on double click or mouse click or mouse out over or with this frame which means on frame internal we are gonna make it on mouse click or select on mouse click so which button do you want to select or to click the start button that's it finish and add you see this is your code I can magnify it you can go to the settings of course and change the size so but for now I'm gonna use the magnifier you see this dot btn underscore star dot on and this is normal JavaScript anyway you should have a background in JavaScript at this by this time if you don't you need to go and just read about or study about JavaScript a little bit so uh, this is how JavaScript works the event and then a function and then you can write the function name and you define the function somewhere else or you can directly write the function function parentheses brace opening brace and then your code and then closing brace closing parentheses so underscore this dot go to under stop middle why it's underscore this because the program just defined a variable underscore this equals this so you're not gonna use this you're gonna use this anyway can I do this with the stop <laughs> a lot of this is uh, I'm saying so yeah of course you can do this you see you, you sorry you see this is not a keyword this is a keyword because of the color changing so I'm gonna run and see if my code will work let me open the browser here so I will click this you see it goes to the middle now I will click that in order to go back at the beginning or you can go to the end anyway so I'm gonna do the same thing of course you can uh, go here I discovered it quickly very good this is not button end I didn't change the name anyway this is going to be main control s okay I closed the browser already so I need to test the movie again and this is going to go to the middle this is going to end you can click another button or create another button that goes back to here at the beginning I'm gonna make this goes back okay so how I will do this and instead of that I will just say this dot go to and stop zero this is the first keyframe or you can just say no I don't want it to be zero I want it to be start the frame label both will work control s you can go to your browser and then refresh this is the middle and this is go to the end no refresh will not work you need to test the movie one more time control enter okay it's not like a Dreamweaver play back play back this is simply how to add interactivity using JavaScript there will be more tutorials on adding interactivity but this is an introductory tutorial I hope you enjoyed the video thank you very much and see you in next tutorial